Yes, today we're going to learn more about uh, how to do some calculations, especially on a pay, payroll, uh, where you calculate some uh, tax and HF, SSF, cross pay, and net pay, when somebody have to be paid their salary. In this case, it means, for, for example, in a, if you're doing the tax, uh, you can use the tax uh, rate which we do tax with. In this case, as you can see here, it is 16 percent of d5 d5 represent the basic pay as you can see in this case so it means in this figure here you can just come and put is equals uh, in case you are doing the excel first don't forget to put is equals sign uh, anytime you are calculating so it is 16 percent uh, of means in body mass it means you multiply uh, then uh, you multiply by basic pay you just click there and now you press enter once you press enter as you calculate and you can just come click there and do some auto filling to get the rest of other calculation in this case it means as you can see here you can just see we already calculated the entire figure for the for, for the tax here uh, the other thing you can see there you don't have allowances to calculate the allowances here you need to put uh, between the basic pay and tax you can in, uh, insert a worksheet uh, between so to insert a worksheet between just highlight uh, this one column and light click and click insert uh, insert once you click insert automatically insert in the left side and just click there and type allowances once you type allowances as you can see, now you can create allowance whereby, for you know, for example, in our case, it is 20% uh, of your basic pay. 20% uh, of your basic pay, for instance. So you need to put 20% of your basic pay and you click uh, that one on basic pay. Then you can just press enter. Get the allowances there and do the same sort of field to get the rest figures there. As you can see, you can just come here, you just sort of fill until you see where the last figures ends. That's how you have to fill for that one. Now to get this one, for example, whereby this is 2.3% of basic pay, you automatically get this figure, and you multiply, you get 540.5, and just do the same, you have to fill to get the rest. Just come here, you to fill and get the rest as you can see the other figures there. And to calculate this NHF here, whereby to be determined by uh, to be can be determined where about maybe your basic pay or maybe can be determined with uh, for example uh, some egg. You need to insert uh, a column for the agenda for example uh, in this case it means uh, you need to insert uh, between employee and now occupation you need to insert what agenda so it means i can just come here i right click again i click insert and now this one i can just put gender for example here I can just come i put for example gender once i put gender Samsung is male, is male, uh, female, uh, male. You require just to press enter, you just type the first letter, and automatically you can see it is coming up. Uh, as for that one, and you can just, just be in a position just to type the first letter. Now to particularly be in a position to bring the other so just so that you can go in a very faster way you can just type like that one and automatically and get now the rest as per that one uh, in those ones now you can see uh, automatically is giving the the entire information for this one so you can see now we have typed all of them and in those quiz, uh, you have inserted now the gender, uh, the gender, and now you can be in a position 
to come here and calculate using this gender in our case for example here we have two figures well the one figure here which is in the cell name uh, the cell name g24 and we have another one at the cell name e25 it means uh, if that is e25 and g24 uh, for this case you can see the figures there uh, for male and for female uh, for this one you can because you're doing the male you can just come here now put those figures uh, make sure that those figures are in the right place e and, and uh, g and now you can come to create is put is equals if uh, your gender for example just click gender if your gender is male is equals in quotes put male and close the bracket uh, you can put the comma and we have something called absolute cell reference in this case and to put this absolute cell reference for for male you need to, uh, to put a dollar sign now you put a dollar sign e and dollar sign another dollar sign and you put 25 once you put 25 automatically you realize uh, it will automatically be in a position to highlight the, the figures there automatically to that 300 another one is for g24 it means you put a comma and put the other one for a dollar sign a g and dollar sign 24 then you can close the bracket and and you can see even before you press enter you see the second figure is already highlighted and uh, then you can just press enter and get the first figure is 300 what is required is now you just sort of fill to get the rest figures as per what's supposed to be automatically you see the person who is male which is 300 if who is female automatically 650 that is how you get that one for NHF in case you want to know that formula for uh, for E function to calculate that one as you can see that one uh, in some instant where maybe the basic pay will be determined by their salary for example this is 16% but some way you can see that uh, maybe some people who is earning a small salary should be taxed maybe differently that is where this formula may require to change and that one can go together with the with the salary uh, so that you can change that one and use the if function to get that one but for this one let me go to the gross pay here because for this one let me just try to change this one and see in case i do calculate using different function you get the different answers in this case it means you just put for is equals if uh, for example your basic pay uh, it's above or equal to uh, 30,000, 35,000. Example, 5,000, comma, uh, should be taxed with 16%. 16%, uh, 16 of your basic pay. Okay, 16% of your basic pay. Uh, then, you put a comma if you open bracket once you open the bracket you can just click the same figure and say for instance if that figure was below 35,000 it means you can be slightly 12% slightly down 12% point 0.7 for example percent uh, of your basic pay your basic pay for example that one now you can see you have opened two bracket you have to black to balance with the two closing bracket one two and press enter that means the figures there that you can see before i auto fill then once i auto fill you get some some of the figures you automatically 
change in this area you see that automatically we get uh, some changes yeah and that is how the figures have changed because the formula have changed in this case and that is now our formula for calculation of tax as you can see there it will be reflected in the functional uh, formula bar uh, in this case now I calculate the gross pay whereby gross pay should be a sum of you means is sum of uh, basic pay plus allowance so it means I can just highlight that one and close the bracket and press enter that will be now the gross salary and need now to come here to fit the rest as you can see the same way you are doing to the rest and that is how you calculate the gross pay and now you can create the net pay whereby the final salary after deduction of all deductions for instance the deduction here it is the first thing you need to do, do with the gross pay for net pay it means the gross pay minus sum uh, that means j5 represent gross pay minus sum of all deductions sum of all deductions which is now tax plus nj plus nssf and close the bracket and you press enter automatically now you get the final uh, salary after all relevant deductions that is the final salary for each and every person in that pay slip i can just come here and do the naming of that worksheet i just right click rename and just call employee pay slip employee uh, pay slip and as you can see there uh, you can just click like that and now see save and uh, that is how you calculate you do all those calculations as you can see there they are looking now nice once they are all calculated in case you see some uh, some information uh, uh, even not being a person to find you can see all of the information there uh, some words are not indicated well you can just highlight like that and under format you need to come and click format cells uh, you do something called uh, lapping of text as you can see at the alignment you can just click uh, wrap text and this one you can put center and another one center in this case you can just click ok and you'll be in a position now to see some uh, some words have been cut off uh, and go to the second line for example gross pay as you can see and we have the other phone of Netflix, for example, you can see. Sometimes you see some those kind of a hash, hash, hash. It means you require to come here and adjust a bit so that the figures can be clearly seen. In this case, the other thing you can do in this one, you can try to write and put now the border. You can put, for example, these figures now. Uh, I can choose to put the currency. Uh, in my case, I can choose a different currency. At least you can know more about how can I insert various currency. For example, this one for the basic pay. I can first put a thousand separator. This is a thousand separator, as you can see here. And once you put a thousand separator, you can see the figures have now a comma. There's a thousand separator. Uh, as for the currency, you can either choose this one. To put for example the dollar sign there you if you see the figures look like this and just do the same just drag a bit and you can see now how it look like i need to put now a different currency in this case for example this one now i can put a kenyan currency so i need to highlight and i go to format format sales and uh, number you can click currency but in this case you can see we have dollar sign uh, dollar currency i need to change that and i click custom uh, at the general just click there up and now type 41 for example i need in quotes 
a Kenya currency. So it means I have to put Kenya currency, which is uh, written like that one. As you can see, those are Kenya currency. Uh, as for that one, I just put head of quotes, space, then I put hash. So once you put hash, uh, like that one, as you can see now, it is indicating Kenya currency there. And now you can click OK. Those, that is how you put Kenya currency. And you can just repeat and change that one to be a different currency in this case. It means you need to highlight like this one. Those figures, format, format says, uh, custom, general one, and now come and put a different currency. For example, uh, I can now put uh, Tanzania shillings, uh, space, then I put hash. Automatically, now you can see, you say okay, and that is how it look like for those Tanzania shillings. That is how we put. Uh, for that ones, now I can choose. For example, I highlight all these figures here, and I do something called conditional formatting. Conditional formatting can just highlight like this one, all the figures, and you come here and highlight. You put the greater than, uh, greater than here, and come here. You write, for example, I need the figure which is greater than uh, forty thousand. 40,000 as you can see automatically here that figure is automatically highlighted and now you can come click custom format and put maybe the font you want uh, the bold you can put in line. you can just put a drawing now come you put the size you want for example and you can put a, a color that you want and you click ok uh, then once you put OK that one you can just come here and click OK so you can see how it's been formatted go again choose less than uh, I need less than uh, 1000 for example 